Strange Signs of the Second Coming There is a reason we need to keep preaching about the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The world has forgotten about the second coming of Jesus. They have followed the ways of the world. They have made earthly things become what they most chase at all times. We have pastors who don't like to preach about the end times. They don't want to talk about the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But Jesus has called us not only to speak about how He has died for our sins and resurrected, but He also wants us to talk about how He will come back again. The second coming will not be the same as the first. We need to constantly remind ourselves of the second coming of Jesus Christ. Since the disciples knew that one day the world would come to an end, they decided to ask if Jesus can tell them the things that will happen in the end time. Matthew 24.3 King James Version And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? These signs of the second coming of our Lord Jesus can be shown in different ways, and we can see that it will also be shown in the sky. There is something about the heavens that we should know. It was also created to show signs. There are many verses of the Bible that we have seen the Lord show signs from heaven. In the beginning, the Bible stated that the heavens were also created for signs. Genesis 1.14 King James Version And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. When John was shown Revelations 2, there was a sign in heaven. Revelation 12.1a King James Version Now a great sign appeared in heaven. Some Christians are very critical. This may be because they are cautious of occult involvement which involves the stars and so on. For some people, as soon as you mention stars or the moon, they automatically believe you have crossed over into the occult and turn off. However, by doing this, they miss out on a wonderful treasure. That God attaches great significance to what we observe in the heavens. We can go as far as saying that astronomical signs are God's billboard for the world. They can occur on a regular basis, as in seasonal things. They also occur as unique events, and especially as warning signs leading up to the second coming of Jesus Christ. God has used His billboard, the cosmos, in the past. For instance, God has been using the heavens for signs from the first book of the Bible. Genesis 1, 14-16 Then God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night. And let there be signs and seasons, and for days and years, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth. And it was so. Then God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. Our seasons are based on the signs God gave us in this passage of Scripture. God used the heavens to guide people. The children of Israel were led from the heavens. Exodus 13, 21 And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, to go by day and night. At the birth of Jesus, we see Matthew 2, 2 saying, Where is he who has been born King of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. And leading up to the second coming of Jesus, God will give us signs of his coming in the sky. These signs that will show when Jesus is coming will be shown in heaven and on earth too, but we must know that a lot of signs will be shown in heaven. Luke 21, 25, King James Version. And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, 
We need to know that there are signs that we hardly talk about in churches today. We talk about them, but not as signs of the second coming of Jesus. These signs may seem strange to us. They may be something that we feel is normal, but they are indications that Jesus will appear soon. What are these signs of the second coming of Jesus? The three signs in heaven, Matthews 24, 29, King James Version. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. What sort of event is Jesus describing here? Some Bible scholars say these signs should be read literally as events that will actually take place in the sky in real time. However, other Bible teachers speculate that these words from Jesus could be metaphors to describe massive geopolitical events. Others try to combine these two possibilities. I believe that Matthew 24, 29 are real events that will actually take place in the sky in real time. The reason for this is that other parts of the Bible speak of this same event as a real event rather than a metaphor. The first description after the tribulation, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light, could be talking about the sky being darkened by smoke, dust and ash, either from meteor impacts, some sort of explosion, or a great volcanic eruption. If there is enough smoke, dust and ash in the atmosphere, the light from the sun and moon would be blocked. Joel 2.30-31 through 31 depicts the same events during the day of the Lord. Joel 2.30-31, through 31, 30. And I will shew wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. The next phrase, the stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. The heavenly bodies being shaken could also refer to meteor impacts. The asteroids are heavenly bodies. Revelation 6, 12 through 13, King James Version. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. These three signs are consistent in the Bible. The sun will go dark, the moon will turn to blood, and the stars will fall on earth. The sun will become black on more than one occasion, the book of Revelation. In the fourth trumpet in Revelation 8:12, we read, Then the fourth angel sounded, and a third of the sun was struck a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, so that a third of them were darkened. A third of the day did not shine, and likewise the night. In the fifth trumpet in Revelation 9, 2, we read, And he opened the bottomless pit, and smoke arose out of the pit, like the smoke of a great furnace. So the sun and the air were darkened because of the smoke of the pit. According to this verse, when Satan opens the shaft of the bottomless pit, Dense, extremely hot smoke billows from the shaft. The smoke is so heavy and black that it darkens the sun and the earth's atmosphere. The pollution that spews from the bottomless pit is an appropriate environment for the spiritually polluted fallen angels. The bottomless pit, the abyss, is a realm of confinement for demons. No wonder in Luke 21:26 the Bible says, men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth. And again the sun will be darkened during the fifth veil. In Revelation we read, Then the fifth angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast, and his kingdom became full of darkness, and they gnawed their tongues because of the pain. The second of these signs is that the moon will turn to blood. There are times that we have seen the moon give the color of blood. We call it the red moon. What we have been seeing is not what it would look like when this sign will show. The moon will not give its light too, because it would have turned into something like blood. In a situation whereby the sun is not giving its light and the moon is not giving its light too, 
that should give us the idea of how dark the earth would be. Revelation 6.15 gives us the reaction of the people during this time. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid in the dens, and the rocks of the mountains. These things are not for us to be afraid of. They are not for us to be scared of what will show, but it is God showing us warnings about these signs that will be shown. Imagine a time like this.